Hello, everybody. This is Game God Fluent bringing you episode 43 of Let's Play Tortured Hearts or How I Saved the Universe Again. We're in the monastery. There's some blood here, and we just put, pulled a lever which removed the blue fire blocking our progress, and now we can go to the basement. Um, in other news, I also located the last turnip and actually ignored it last episode. Uh, it was brought to my attention by Zoltan that I ignored the last turnip and the healer, the cleric in Care Maid, the treasure hunter's camp is actually selling it. And I looked at it and completely missed it. I was on a one, I had a one track mind there. I was just buying healing potions is what it was. Um, I didn't notice the turnip. But here we are, Thin Blood Monastery basement. Another dungeon crawl, perhaps. Oh my. I don't think we're fighting that thing. Let's make a black barrel, though. And a crate. Whoa! <laughs> it actually scared me. Marshall, Ranger, you do fine. Abnormal spiders. Yikes. I do not like abnormal spiders. They seem to have a healthy amount of AP. See if we can take them out. Reader, of course, has turned into using Babysitter. So she's going to be casting Divine. Your precious time is clogged up with these wretches. Okay, we can kill them. turn him after we explore a bit of this dungeon. So it's still pretty hot in my room. Um, I'm just dealing with it. I guess at night it's better. And I'm tired and I don't really feel like playing anything. Oh my. He is effective with that weapon. Beautiful. Oh, did I didn't kill it. He's gonna be a good addition. Out of chances. Oh, he's wicked good. Stats really play an important part, and he's got some good stats. Charles, no pushover either, though. We have a good team going here. I feel more comfortable taking on the tougher enemies. Um, I don't know about that big gargoyle, though. We'll try. I don't see us making any progress against it. it. Hmm. 
fitting that Charles gets the kill since he damaged that one a lot. Tattered rags, Yukamin seeds, love letter, 68 gold. Ride ticket, 76 gold. Save. And continue. This looks like a prison, not a monastery. Corpse. Maybe he got in a meditation posture and could get out. Lucky charm. Huh. Tool for making a point, but only a limited one. 1d10 plus 4, okay. Hand axe, short sword, 435 gold. Charms for the charming, everyone can use a little more luck. Hmm. Um. You see the bug there, Zoltan? They piled on the same item. As did this. Not good. Okay, the tethered rags went into the right spot. Alright, hand axe is Mardnox hand axe of the essential resource. Four percent action point bonus, but otherwise nothing right home about. And a short sword is short sword of the spell blocker. Magic resistance. Interesting. Okay. Anything else? Monastery loot bag. Looks like somebody was trying to escape the Doom Monastery with this pack, obviously in vain. Monastery Kitchen Key. This key is almost like the master key of the monastery, just smaller and no hellish symbols. And a thinking hat. Intellect bonus plus one. Dawned bonus plus four. Nice. Hmm. Who can use... Ah, it's covering up again. Oh yeah, we got Han. Um, what was that? I think he had. We can use the intellect on this. Intellect. Will it use your mind as a tool? Power of magic use just depends on it. So, the thinking had to read your. Oh, perfect. Makes her six intellect, gives her a little bit more mana. Cool, cool, cool. Locked. Can we pick it? Hmm. We're not getting another point in lockpick. That room is off limits to us. Come down this way. Horrid creature. Oh. Bring it. Hmm.
that growl attack takes a little longer than normal. Whoa, there's four of them? Okay, but they don't have too much defense against us. I'll take them out. There's me with this pointy stick. Let's gonna go get him. Now they're undead on the loose. I like how each monster has its own dungeon master uh, description. That's pretty cool. I mentioned that in a previous episode. I like that. Nice. 140 XP, cool. Whoa! Oh man, our team is awesome now. <laughs> Ooh yeah! Now it's Leonard's turn. Go get him, Leonard. Sir Wildbrand. Oh. What are you doing? Taking a risk, eh? I think I'd rather go back and get the turn up right now. Um, use this turtle. I'm not sure I want to delve into a super deep dungeon right now. Roadblock. so cool. I love how we're getting loot that complements our builds. Um, it makes us all pretty tough cookies. I think everybody has a pretty good build right now. That intellect hat is I think yeah, it's really going to help Redra. As we saw her damage was potent. Will of Reedra Shaden. Ah. Old Marvel, 76 gold. It's not my cup of tea. You can win, Paul, 91 gold. Alright, and which way were we going? We were coming from this way. Right? Yes, there's the corpse. Coming this way. Knowledge based novice. Range weapons, Charles. Someone is to be congratulated. Lovely Redrin. Herbalist. Us. Or Desmond. Ooh. Successfully opened it. Stupendous. 
We've got a large shield and 101 gold. Let's have Reacher take the large shield. That identified. Large shield of hailstones. Let's see, I see. Ooh, not very good. Save again. Floor. Number 28. Our eternal rivals at the Monastery of the Unbending Eyes have finally been eradicated to the last man. No more goody two shoes interfering with our agenda. This monastery has always been and always will be the unholy bastion of the lady that beholds you. Oh boy. Oh my. There was two of them. Did we go down this way? Oh yeah. Can't pick the lock. Can we bash the door? The door is too massive to be bashed. Well, I would say our time in here is done then. Sorry, I can't see the big picture. Can't do anything with that. Can go this way? Potentially. Are we quite certain of what we are doing? Okay, we use the monastery kitchen key. Um, I see, I see. right now. Ooh. It is a hydrogen salt of the better known ebony. Tread phrase. Oh great, and our torch went out. You come and see this. Um Hello? Don't bother me, puny mortal. Eating too much beef for dinner will always make you dream of creatures like this. Great hmm. Slanidra crystal. It's a powerful magic crystal to conduct magical energies. It has a Sylphie Young Adventuring ink log at its base. Fired a shard. Oh, and we're fighting because of that? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We can't kill the Dread Wraith. Can we? Possibly? Maybe? If we put it in stasis, music. That certainly got to help. Yes, hinder and we are shaded. Huh. 
Maybe we can kill this thing. I think it had a restoration on its turn. This is crazy. Let's see what Leonard does against it. There we go. Oh my gosh, we've got it half dead. Okay, Charles, try music. Not susceptible to piercing, it seems, since it's, you know, a dread wraith. But slashing is very good. She doesn't have much a AP. Nice, we could actually get this thing. Be the surprise of the century. Oh, immune to stasis. Dang. Okay. Hmm. He drops to a certain level, and that emboldened by Leonard really gave him a lot of AP, 68 AP for Charles. But he drops to a certain level and then summons a bunch of undescribable undead. That's worrisome, but we could still focus on Malcolm. As long as Leonard is still focused on Malcolm, we could do this. He's going down. Oh, he's going down. Her AP is down because she's hindered. Come on, Leonard, kill him this turn. Nine. Even more undescribable undead. No, we're not going to kill him this turn. Dang it. That's a lot of undescribable undead. Going berserk. Going berserk. Come on, we're so close. <sighs> Come on, Charles. Get him with some goods. Get him with the goods, Charles. Nice. Cuss him some more. Yes. I wonder if the undescribable undead die when the dread wraith goes out. Yes. 
Come on, you can kill him this turn. Ah. Come on, Charles. No, come on, Charles. Got him. 2300 XP. Nice. And now we have to kill the undescribable undead. We're berserk, though. I wonder if that was a good move. We can always flee from this and come back later, but no, I I want to get his loot bag. I want to get the uh. The Dread Wraith Flute Bag. Let's we'll kill all these undescribable undeads. Nice. Still a little worried because I know they can punch a bit. We fought them before. They can take chunks of life off you quickly. Oh, this was awesome. Like that. And disarm you? No. Don't do it. Stay Marshall. I'm gonna light a cigarette here and hope for the best. Where's Leonard? Reedra do healing duties. We can handle this. This opens up. Nice. This opens up. Uh, the ghostly village. We can finish probably. No, stop shield bashing. I have to give him higher anger or a better shield. Cool, almost kills him in one hit. Now I'm not too fussed. Now we're seeing some versatility from our team. Desmond seems to have a rejuvenation effect on him as well. Cool. 
we actually are gonna do it. Unbelievable. We killed a dread wraith. We're gonna have berserk fatigue because I went berserk. I think. For one turn, I guess. Cool. We've got 82 gold and a hoodlum trail. And now for the drop bag of the dread Right, Thin Blood Incantations. Among the many things mentioned in this compilation of Thin Blood magic are incantations to remove certain clan specific curses which can't be removed by ordinary magic. One of the illustrations depicts a fearsome bluish monster. Silver Dust Mask. Immunity to Kriplong and Fetid Dungeon Canker. The Tomb Robber's Favorite. And I can find one worth 12,500. Love letter, bloodstained side contract, and 10,000 gold. Oh. So glad you didn't drop a contraption. <sighs> Quick save that, baby. Oh, with encumbrance? It's encumbered. Charles. Let's pass off the huh. What? How much does that weigh? 13 pounds? Sheesh. I guess he's encumbered, but it's not red. Is that to reach her? Eh, he could carry it anyway. Leonard. And we broke a Slanidra crystal. That was wicked good. In here. Oh. There's some gargoyles. Try to fight them. If we can handle them. Good, they don't have much AP. <coughs> You're one big joke. too tough. They just look tough. Oh, we can kill them easily. Isn't this creature supposed to be on a roof? So this would mean the only place we haven't explored in here is that pick block room. Pretty impressive stuff from Sultan, considering he's not a programmer. We learned programming for this game. The 
suspended. Intruder alert. Wow. Sixteen XP only for them. It's not bad though. Cool. Yeah, because this just winds down back that way. So we haven't been in this room. Success. All the base advanced. Healer. 589 for that. Box of the Abbot. Strange, it seemed like a chocolate box at first. Rotten letter. This letter is barely readable. The undead have smeared it with their rotting flesh. Ring of nine lives. Resurrection one use a day. Nice. Perfect gift for a busy healer. Alright, let's get that to creature. And... Also got the... Rotten letter, which we can read. Equip, equip the ring. We'll just keep it in our inventory. Malcolm Most Revered. As you know, Our Lady of Darkness demands unwavering devotion. She is pleased with your efforts at the monastery. In recognition of your success, she wants the brethren to prepare for the next step of their evolution as her servants. To maintain her visions for this area, she will need a supply of servants whose service will not be compromised by age or disease. Therefore, it is her will that your monastery make the necessary arrangements to convert your fallible mortal bodies to undead ones. She has not revealed the moment of this evolution in your spiritual status, and you must wait in patience. Be at the ready. You're in thin blood. So that's what happened here. Wow. So there's literally one door left, and we can't get in it. How better lock picking. Okay. Pretty cool place. I have to remember there's a pickable lock here. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. What was that? Oh, trap. Alright, and there's still an enchantress in this forest somewhere in this valley. 
We're not going to kill her yet. We're going to head back and get the last turn up and then head to the pig. Let's get a torch going. So I'm shocked that we're able to do that. Um, like I said, that's going to open up more content for us, knowing we can handle stuff like that. That's going to open up the ghostly village to be completed. Um, we can head to Pikedale with the map of Pikedale. There's quite a bit we can do. This way? No, that's east. Dungeon, we can kill the uh, weird men in the dungeon. A very typical dungeon. Let's go let this turn up. Hold on, things might get a little rough. There's the turn up. Three out of three. Turn to the piggy. Quick save, we've got all three turnips. Okay, hey, I'm looking for an Ocarina player. I mean, I mean some information about him. Oh, I love Ocarinas. What a pity I can't play them. Yeah, it'd be hard with those trotters, nevertheless. Once I tried a trombone and I loved it. The music I could make was quite simple, though, but you could understand that. Absolutely. As for the... You love ocarinas? Not as much as straight answers. What do you mean? There's a dead ocarina player at the other side of the inn. What do you know about him? Such a loser. Obviously, but what else? Nothing else. The guy said such bad things about trombones, I didn't have anything more to discuss with him. You talked with the guy? Yes, he spoke in very good piggish, but his views on music were plain atrocious. More, please. Wait, put away your aversion. I need every possible clue. Don't beg for information, for God's sake. You're demeaning yourself. Really? He's right. Are you with him? Come on. About the quest. Oh, it's so flattering to be a quest giver. Do you have the turnips? Charles Boyson presents three turnips. See? I'm the paragon of epicness. Jeez, you really are very committed. Thank you. Have a good meal. Hi there, Piggo. Alright, so the pig. Um. Did it update? Lingering Melody. Pig Boss is a music lover, that's sure, and his information about the late Ocarina owner is tantalizing. Piggy talked with him, but they had different opinions about music in general, so it went nowhere, and neither does my investigation. That piggish is improving, though. 
I need to visit a monastery. See, I've been to the monastery, but I didn't find any music there. Alright, I'm going to save here for episode 43. It was a lot of fun exploring the monastery, finishing the pig quest. Um, next time, I don't know, we'll probably head to Ghost Village and finish up there. Or no, the Carpenter, which we're going to go to in Air Marsh, we'll do that. So, until next time, much love, peace, joy, and light. Appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you then. So long.